God's name is Yahuwah, or Yahweh, or Elohim. Jesus' name is Yahusha, or Yeshua, or Yahawashai. The Holy Spirit's name is Rahakadesh. These are their original Hebrew names. I come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. John 5, 43. Exodus 31, 12 through 14. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak thou also unto the children of Israel, saying, Verily, my Sabbaths ye shall keep. For it is a sign between me and you throughout your generations, that ye may know that I am the Lord that doth sanctify you. Ye shall keep the Sabbath, therefore, for it is holy unto you. Every one that defileth it shall surely be put to death. For whosoever doeth any work therein, that soul shall be cut up from among his people. Keep on listening. I found out a man is not the whole tree, but a branch totally dependent upon the living God. I found out although the tongue weighs very little, few people are able to hold it. I found out we can resist anything but temptation. I am the Lord your God who leads you in the way you should go, Isaiah 48, 17. Dad, minister to us now in the name of Yahushua. I give you all the praise and the glory in Yahushua's name. Are you confused today because you don't know what to do? Are you confounded because God isn't showing you what direction to take, though you've been asking him? Well, don't despair. He hasn't forgotten you, and he isn't ignoring you. Yahuwah God will show you how to proceed. In fact, he is actively working in your situation and guiding you even as you are listening or reading this right now though you may not realize it. You see, God wants you to honor him, and he understands that you don't always know how to do so. Therefore, he takes responsibility for teaching you how to walk in his ways, instructing you as a parent and loving father would, one step at a time, building your faith, building your character, and building your obedience. What this means is it would be completely out of character and contrary to his purposes for him to hide how he wants you to go forward. So stop fretting and continue listening. Keep on listening. God will move heaven and earth to show you his will and help you walk in it. He will certainly give you the wisdom to advance with him one step at a time. Keep on listening. You can tell him, Lord, for what do I wait? My hope is in you. Psalm. 39.7 Never let the nevers of life plague you. Let me say it again. Never let the nevers of life plague you. Are the nevers of life plaguing you today? What are the nevers of life, you might ask? This will never get better. I'll never receive the love and respect that I long for. I'll never have what I really want. 
It can be difficult if you've waited a long time to see God work in some situation that's especially important to you. But this is the challenge of faith. It's the ability to keep trusting in him when the days pass without answers to your pleas at the throne of grace. Oh, I know. But today, no one thing for certain. The only never that really matters is God will never let you down. Deuteronomy 31, 6 and 8. So whatever it is you've been praying for, no matter how long you've had to wait, trust that the Father is leading you and know for absolute certainty that he has your best interest at heart. Human reason may tell you to give up on him, but don't. Instead, keep clinging to our Savior and remember the one who came through for Abraham. Remember the one who came through for David. Remember the one who came through for Moses, for Isaac, for Jacob, and for Joseph. After their long periods of waiting is working on your behalf too. And just as he kept his promises to them, he will do so for you as well. Keep on listening. When you pray to him, you might want to say to him, Dad, thank you. Thank you. I trust you to show me what to do today and every day, step by step. I will never give up on you. You are my help and my hope, and in you I trust always. My hope is in you, Dad, because you never let me down. You be blessed now, you hear? Peace.